Hi everyone, this is my new NIS 32F3 flight controller and today I am going to show you how to connect this with any 6 channel receiver. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Let's talk about the connection. First make sure your transmitter is in default mode. I mean there are no additional programming like delta mix, VTL mix etc. Then take a closer look to your flight board. You can see there are some marking like this arrow which indicates the orientation of the board. I mean this is the front side of your board and this is the back side of your board. And these are the input ports which will be connected to your receiver. And if you flip this board then you can see there are also some marking like IO1 and IO2. That means this port is IO1 and this port is IO2. And these are the corresponding cable for these ports. After connecting the cable you can see there are also some marking like 1 to 8. In the IO1 port, this first cable which is a black cable is actually your ground wire and the second one is the second red one is your power wire and this third white one is your signal wire for your aerolon port. That means this white one will be connected to the aerolon port of your receiver and next this blue one will be connected to the elevator port of your receiver and next this is the yellow one which is connected to the auxiliary port of your receiver. You need this auxiliary port to select different flight modes. Now go to the IO2 port. Here also the black wire is ground wire, the red one is power wire and this third white one is the signal wire for your throttle and the next blue one is going to connect to your rudder. Now your connection is done. You don't need this rest of the cables. Now jump to the computer and connect the board with clean flight. First open the clean flight software, then connect the flight board with your computer through a micro USB cable. After making a successful connection, you will see a quadcopter avatar on your computer screen. And now if you tilt or rotate your flight controller, the avatar also tilt or rotate. Now go to the receiver tab. This is your receiver status. The throttle is working. The pitch is working. Roll is working and this is the yaw and has your auxiliary channel and make sure your receiver is in rx parallel pwm mode and this is your signal graph this is throttle graph yaw graph pitch graph and a roll graph and this is your auxiliary graph now the connection is done successfully please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching